Hello guys, welcome to the video lecture on introduction to accounting. So our topic in today's video is about the term loan, interest on loan and journal entry relating to the same. Now a company can either take a loan or can give a loan. And secondly, if a loan being taken or a loan being given, the other component which is very very important is with reference to interest and loan. We will try to understand the concept of loan and interest on loan with reference to certain examples. Now example 1 states, the company took a loan of rupees 5 lakhs from a bank. Now we identify there are two accounts here, one is bank account, another is loan account. Now since the company has taken a loan from a bank, of uh, the amount is rupees 5 lakhs, they will be directly transferring that particular loan amount to the company's bank account. Therefore bank account being a part of real account money coming in will be debited on the other side since the company has taken a loan from a bank it is the liability from the point of view of the organization to pay back the loan amount back to the bank so under such circumstances the loan account is a liability and thereby required to be credited thus bank account required to be debited and loan account required to be credited. Let's move on to the next example. Example 2 states that interest on loan of rupees 10,000 paid by check. Now since you have taken a loan from a particular bank, you require to pay a certain amount of interest maybe every month. Therefore, we identify two account heads. One is interest on loan account and the second is if you are paid via check, so it's a bank account. Now interest on loan being paid by the company it's an expense part of nominal account will be debited on the other side since you are paying the interest via a check that means company's bank account balance goes down because bank account is a real account it goes out or goes down it has to be credited therefore interest on loan account should be debited and bank account should be credited let's move on to the next example Example 3 states interest on loan of rupees 10,000 yet to be paid. So you have still date haven't paid the interest on loan. You have taken a loan but the interest stands due. Now we identify two account. One is interest on loan account and the second part is the loan account. Because see if you have taken a loan that is already a liability. So if you have say for example if you have taken a loan of rupees 50,000. So if you require to pay back 50,000. So interest on loan, say for example, if it is 10,000, you haven't paid. So your total liability right now is the loan amount, which is 50,000. Together with the loan amount, the interest also required to be paid. So it is additional 10,000. So your total liability stands 60,000. And that is the reason why the loan account being increased in liability from 50,000, it has gone to 60,000 right now because you haven't paid the interest. That is the reason it is being considered to be part of a liability and it is credited. Therefore, interest on loan account which is an expense part of nominal account is debited and since your liability is going high, your loan account, your overall liability is going high from 50,000 it has gone to 60,000. So loan account is credited. Thus, interest on loan is debited and loan account is credited. Let's move on to the next example. Example 4 states the company repays the loan amount which is they have taken from bank via a check so we identify two account heads so one is loan account and the second one they have paid via check so bank account so loan account since they are paying it's a reduction in the liability so if you remember the debit and the credit rules any increase of liability is credit but a reduction in liability is debit so loan account will be debited here secondly since you are paying it via a check your bank account is getting credited because real account Bank account is a real account and it goes out, your balance goes down, so bank account is credited. Secondly, why we have debited loan account? Previously, when we have taken a loan, it was a liability and that is the reason why we credited loan account before, when we have taken a loan. Now, since we are paying back the loan, so the loan account which has been credited re required to be cancelled, so loan account also required to be debited here. So, the final journal entry is loan account to be debited and bank account to be credited. Let's move on to the next example. Now, example 5 states the company repays the loan taken from a bank together with interest of rupees 10,000 by check. Now, taking into consideration, we assume that 
the interest on loan was not paid by the company and the interest of loan has been transferred to the loan account via the interest on loan account debit to loan account which we already have passed. Now together with the loan amount the interest on loan also has been paid by the company. Therefore loan account since you are paying and there is a reduction in the liability loan account required to be debited. Now how much what will be the amount? It will be the loan amount which was 5 lakhs plus the interest amount which was 10,000. So you are basically paying 5 lakh 10,000 which was due and you are paying it via check. So real account bank is a real account goes out required to be credited. So loan account required to be debited with 5 lakh 10,000 and bank account required to be credited. Let's move on to the next example. Example 6 states the company repays the loan taken from bank together with interest on loan rupees 10,000 by check. Now, now here there is a loan amount of rupees say for example 5 lakhs being paid by the company and together with that the last month EMI of rupees 10,000 has also been paid. So we haven't transferred the interest on loan to the loan account yet. So since we are paying it right now, so since there is a, so we will take three account heads. One is loan account. The second is interest on loan account. And the last is bank account because the interest on loan till date haven't been transferred to loan account. Before that we are only paying. So loan account as reduction in liability will be debited with the amount of rupees 5 lakhs. Interest on loan being an expense being paid. Nominal account expense to be debited with rupees 10,000. And bank account, since I am paying the loan amount of rupees 5 lakhs and interest on loan of rupees 10,000. So bank account has to be credited with 5 lakh 10,000. Why it has to be credited? Because it's going out. Therefore, it requires to be credited. Let's move on to example number 7. Now till date we have discussed about that we have taken a loan from a bank and we are paying interest. Now right now we are discussing from the point of view of that we, the, from the company has given a loan to another company. So we have given a loan of rupees 5 lakhs to Peter & Co. Now Peter & Co is a personal account who has received that particular amount of money. So they are a receiver. So since they are receiver, they are required to be debited as per personal account rules. On the other side, since we have paid it via check, we have given a loan via check, our bank account falls because real account, as per real account, amount goes out means credit. Therefore, Peter, Peter and Co account required to be debited and bank account required to be credited. I hope you have understood the basic concepts related to loan, interest and loan and journal entry related to loan and interest on loan. Till then, thank you. Have a nice day.